Colonel Hardin terribly sorry. My fault. You're not hurt, are you? I don't think so. I wish you'd make sure. Why? Because usually when people find out who I am, they get themselves a wheelchair, a shyster lawyer, and sue me for three quarters of a million dollars. Don't worry, I won't sue you no matter who you are. Thank you. Who are you? No, really. Sugar! Come on! Honestly. Cheerio. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Not very likely. You staying at the hotel? Not at all. The face is familiar. Possible you've seen it in the newspapers or magazines, um, Vanity Fair. That must be it. Would you mind moving just a little, please? You're blocking my view. Your view of what? They run up a red and white flag on the yacht when it's time for cocktail. You own a yacht? Which one is it? The big one? Certainly not. With all the unrest in the world, I don't think anybody should have a yacht that sleeps more than 12. I quite agree. Tell me, who runs up that flag? Your wife? No, my flags do it. Who mixes the cocktails? Your wife? No, my cocktails do it. Look, if you're interested in whether I am married or not... Oh, I'm not interested at all. Well, I'm not. That's very interesting. How's the stock market? Up, up, up. I bet while we were talking, you made like $100,000? Could be. Uh, you play the market? No, the ukulele. And I sing, too. For your own amusement? A bunch of us girls are appearing at the hotel. Sweet Sue and her society syncopated. Oh, your society girl. Oh, yes, quite. You know, Bryn Moore, Vassar. We're just doing this for a lark. Syncopated. Does that mean you play that very fast music, uh, jazz? Yeah, real hot. <laughs> oh, well, I guess some like it hot. I personally prefer classical music. Oh, I do, too. As a matter of fact, I spent three years at the Sheboygan Conservatory of Music. Good school. And your family doesn't object to your career. They do indeed. Daddy threatened to cut me off without a cent. But I don't care. We're such a bore, you know, coming out parties. Inauguration ball. Opening of the opera. Riding to hound. And always the same 400. You know, it's amazing we never ran into each other before. I'm sure I would have remembered anybody as attractive as you are. You're very kind. Mm. I bet you're also gentle and helpless. I beg your pardon. You see, I have this theory about men who wear glasses. What theory? I'll tell you when I get to know you better. Hmm. What are you doing tonight? Tonight? I thought maybe you could come to the hotel and hear us play. Uh, I would like to, but that would be rather difficult. Why? Uh, I only come ashore twice a day when the tide goes out. Oh.